The Poe Politikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audiobook of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power. Popolitikin.com Yo, my name is Ron Villain. I'm on Popolitikin. We be politicking. You know how we get down every day. You got to tune in whenever you can, man. I'll blow a check and I don't have to worry. My whole team be balling. Call me Steph Curry. Balling, Steph Curry. Balling, Steph Curry. Balling, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Steph Curry. My team come through. Throw a rack, hey. quick to blow a check and get it back. Hey. Money going talk ain't that a fact. Hey. Got a me walking a wagon fat. Hey. Shake that thing like a tambourine. What? Booty be bouncing like a trampoline. What? Kitty be wetter than a tangerine. What? Three girl, one pole balance beam. Stop. Might take him home all night. They throw it back, recline. Wagon. Go down my pole, firefighter. My high member, airliner. Money want chips, call me casino. Hey. Money be falling like I made a freak though. Flash. Little book bag, gotta leave that home. Money. Bring the garbage bag, cause you know it's on. Oh. step curry. Ballin', Steph Curry, my whole team be ballin', call me Steph Curry, ballin', Steph Curry, ballin', Steph Curry, ballin', Steph Curry, Steph Curry, Steph Curry. We get into the bag, 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 we blow a check, we get it back, blow a check, we get it back, blow a check, we get it back, we get it back, we get it back, bottle poppin'. Bottle poppin', green carpet, green carpet, paper, paper, paper. We got it, we got it. Ballin' like Steph Curry, blowin' money in a hurry. Run and get it back, fast break, yeah, we scoring. Make it rain, nah, matter of fact, got it pouring. We all getting fly, matter of fact, boy, we soaring. Ball main, Margella, your dame, run getter, pimp game, all extra, my team, way better. Welcome back to PolePolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you download our app on iTunes. I'm now politicking my homie, Von Villain. How you doing, bro? Yo, man, I'm good. I'm good up here in Brooklyn. You know how we do. All right. So the first question, if someone says, who is Von Villain, what would you say? Man, I'm a lot of things, man. I'm mad diverse. I'm a businessman. I also, you know, I'm from the hood, so we just get it however we can right now. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let us know your background, how long you've been involved with music. Man, let's see. When I was 16, that's about like 10 years ago, I was like freestyling on the corners like a regular dude. Had mixtapes and everything. I used to be up in fucking front of Death Jam. One of them dudes handing out his fucking his CD and everything. That obviously ain't work out too well. But now with social media, I've got, I've gotten serious with it again for like two years now. Like I took a little break, was just hustling and shit. But now I'm back on the music grind and I'm fully invested. You know what I'm saying? All right, who are some of your influences? Man, I got a lot of influence, man. Um, I would have to say Jada, Jay, you know, all the big Brooklyn heads, Fab. Um, I hang around with Young and May a lot, so she influences me a lot, and also Dave East. Them, them the young dudes that influence me, you know what I'm saying? But so who do you say your top five is right now? My top five of current rappers? Yeah. I would say Kendrick. J. Cole. 
Yeah, top five, Big Sean. Kendrick, J. Cole, Big Sean. Yo, I really like Dave East. He gets an honorable mention. He ain't in my top five, but he gets a... That's not just him being my bro, neither. That's, like, real, like... Yeah, I like him, got it. Um, I'm going to say Uzi, even though he claimed he's not a rapper, <laughs> he up there, because, like, the stuff he talk about is really in-depth, and it gets to you. And French. French is... Yeah, you about the third person I interviewed, interviewed that said Uzi, so I guess he coming up. Everybody said um, that. If you know what it is, a lot of people think he just put, he just dropping mumble rap. But when you actually sit back and listen to the album, like not just hear it, but listen to it, he's he got bars and he's talking about real stuff like that people go through. It might not be stuff I go through. I might not be depressed and suicidal and all that other stuff. But there are people out there, a good percentage of the population that go through that type of shit. All right. So what do you feel like you bring to the hip hop culture? Man, I'm just bringing that New York edge, man. I mean. I just try to, like, view my world and show people what I view, whether that's police profiling and brutality or just the hood from a, my perspective. I even, you know, I talk about the club life because I'm in the club all the time, so I talk about what I, I talk about what is real to me, man. I can't talk about stuff I don't know. So I don't can only talk about what I know, and I know, I know a lot of stuff, like, about the hood and the game and the club life. Even sometimes I saw you catch me talking about a promoter sometimes because, that's what I know, you know what I'm saying? How would you what describe your uh, rap style? Um, it's a lot of boom bap. I bring bars on everything. Um, it's like a kind of old school New York with a, like a new school twist. I try to add like, like my ad libs are better than everybody's. I believe. Like, I feel like when you hear my ad libs, you're like, damn, those are other bars right there. I don't just do ad libs. I drop bars on my ad libs. So it's like. You getting like damn near two songs every song. Well, speaking since you from New, since you from New York, I want to get your take on this one. Um, it was a clip from Joe Buttons on that on that show he got, and he was saying like basically kind of like uh, look, Cam, Cam is the reason Lil Wayne got hot, and he so he's basically the reason the South is kind of hot right now. Cause, but I kind of believe that too, cause I remember Lil Wayne was kind of like, uh, then he started doing them songs with Dipset, and it seemed like it gave him a boost. Cause he started working with Dipset right before the Carter too, so he's saying like that's kind of due to his Lil Wayne success, and that's why the South is where it's at now because of Cam. Lil Wayne is one of my favorite rap. Forget one of my favorite rappers. Lil Wayne is my favorite rapper. I've been paying attention to him since way back in the day when he was saying he was thirteen and he was really eighteen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Lil Wayne was hot in the South. He was always hot in the South. He didn't get the buzz up here. Right. So he started messing with Cam and them. But Wayne isn't a, yo, these dudes put me on. That's hard work and consistency, bro. The Carter 2 wasn't even like his like second album. That was like mixtape number 20. It, like, it was crazy by that time. Wayne is consistent. Wayne put in a lot of hard work to get with. I'm not going to let nobody tell me that Wayne Shine came from no, man. His way kind of came from hard work, bro. Hard work, consistency, and a lot of financial backing. I'll admit that. They was they was they was hustling drugs heavy and all that stuff in the car and them, them projects over there, man. They had financial backing, and when it was time to sell a mixtape, they were selling a hundred thousand like in the first day off of just the public. So I can't, nah, man, I can't hear buttons. Sometimes buttons, I don't know Joey. I don't know him personally, and I say that because I know a lot of rappers personally. Um, I don't know Joey personally. But some of the stuff he be saying be like, damn, bro, you old and bitter or not? <laughs> like, what's going on, bro? Uh, like, you mad? I can't say that's what it is, but. <laughs> so what's, what's your current project you working on? Yo, man, I got the EP dropping soon. New York, New York, a.k.a. New York Savage. That's the EP dropping probably like the end of the month. I got a mixtape to just warm it up for people in like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man. I got, I got some stuff coming. I got visuals. I just dropped the um, Mask Off Freestyle visual that's getting very, very good reviews. I mean, you can go check that out. It's on, it's on YouTube, about Von Villa YouTube. You can check that out. That visual is off the hook. The Mask Off is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got mainstream rappers telling me that shit better than Futures. So I'm, I'm real happy with that. So I'm proud of that. Um, I got more visuals coming. I'm probably going to do like a whole EP video for like the whole EP which is going to be like eight songs so it's going to be like eight videos that can stand alone and together as a story um other than that man I'm just in the grind every day you know what I'm saying 
Just celebrated my birthday. Happy to be here another year living. Me and Chief Keith tore up the stage at Lush for my, for my birthday. Um, I'm just happy to be living, man. Yeah, what are some of your interests outside of music? Outside of the music, man, I'm, I'm hoping to start my own radio station one day. I mean, when I get older, maybe 20 years from now, when I'm like 45, I want to go into politics. You know what I'm saying? I got to make a change for my people if I can. Um, outside of music, I'm... I'm interested in all arenas, man. I want to take over the world. That's that's my goal. That's my that's my end goal. Yeah. You ask me what my end goal is. I want to take over the world. I'm saying. So, what year you was talking about? You into business or what kind of businesses? Oh yeah. Um, I got a clothing line up here. It's called Villa Nation. Um, we selling like about six stores in Brooklyn, one store in Long Island, and a couple of stores in Queens. Um, other than that. It's really just made mostly my music because, you know, I do have my own record label called Henny Mob Records. I got, like, two artists underneath me on that so far. I got a couple of artists that want to get on board, but I'm telling them, I'm, I'm, I'm honest with everybody. Until my joint gets to a certain level, it don't make sense for me to have too many artists because I can't promote myself and y'all the way I really want to. So I need to get myself up and then I can all jump on. It's all good. But I got, like, people like the way I move, so I got, like, about five people that's ready to jump on when the time is right. All right. And talk about some of the sacrifices you made for your career. Man, I was working. I had a pretty good job, too. Like, people be looking at me crazy when I told them I quit that shit. But, you know, it's this glass ceiling there that if you're a certain color, you can't get past that. You know what I'm saying? So I quit that, and I decided I'm going to start working for myself. And I'm going to do this music thing. So I sacrificed that. It's been hard, man. Like, you know, I make money off of this, but it ain't the money I was making before. And... Everything's a grind. Like, you know, you got to stop hustling. If you really want to do music, you can't hustle. You can't be working a regular job. You can't be one foot out, one foot in. You got to be all the way in. Because the second you halfway in, halfway out, that's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're never going to survive like that. You're never going to win like that. You're never going to get where you want to go. If you're halfway in, halfway out, it's not going to work. It's just not. So what motivates you to make music? Um... I always have. Like I said, since I was 16, I used to be freestyling and making albums and stuff. They just didn't go nowhere because back then, social media wasn't what it was but now. So back then, there was no iTunes. You know what I'm saying? Ten years ago, there was no iTunes. There was no IG. You couldn't just promote your music like that. You had to physically get out there and spread the word. You know what I'm saying? But now that, like, it's real easy for people to, like, just make get the world to hear your music, I'm back and I'm coming stronger than ever, I feel like. All right, what are the top three goals for your career right now? Well, I want to start getting regular spins on, like, FM radio here in New York. That's, like, one goal. But, I mean, I've already had spins on the radio, you know what I'm saying? Like, a couple of DJs have shown me love and spun my song, like, five times, six times a month or something like that, some light. But I'm hoping to get that in the rotation every hour you hear my voice on the radio, you know what I'm saying? That's one goal. Um, A goal record within the next, Two years, that's another goal. Um, other than that, I just want to be respected like a, you know, a real rapper, like a real heavyweight rapper in the game, man. And that's hard to do in New York because the support ain't, you know what I'm saying? New York, the support is not, it's like here. In Atlanta, the support is here. Hell, I went to South by Southwest the other day. People were open to take me to the radio station. If I had been staying for like a couple more days, I would have went to the radio station down there. Up here, it's harder to get to the radio station, you know what I'm saying? But the support, like in other places, Texas showed me love. Atlanta showed me love. Uh, Louisiana showed me love. Up here, in my own place, people, is like, everyone's for themselves. It's crabs in a barrel, you know what I'm saying? So what do you see your career five years from now? Five years from now? By then, I hope to have... Whose level could I say I would want to be on by five years from now? Five years from now... I feel like I should be like an A boogie. I should be able to drop an album, a, a single, like every month and get that mad spins. People should respect it. You know what I'm saying? I know right now a lot of it is just I'm new, so no one don't really know me the way they're supposed to know me yet. You know what I'm saying? All right. And how do you find success? Success is um staying true to myself. Um, giving people a story that they can relate to and they still... They still mess with it, man. That's success right there for me. That's good for me. You know what I'm saying? Of course, money is good, too. I need money. Everybody need money, bro. But right. I got to stay true to myself to do it. I can't I can't just put out garbage just because that's what people. some people want to hear. 
And speaking of money, if you had to pick between money, fame, or love, which one are you going to pick? I'm going to keep it real, money. <laughs> Why? Wow. I mean, all that other stuff kind of come with it. I mean, if you if you're smart with yourself, you can find love while you got money. But is it going to be real love? It's going to be real love, man. If you if you smart <laughs> with yourself, you don't got to tell the person you dating you got money. They, they either going to love you or they not. If you love me later and then a year later you find out I got money, you already love me. You know what I'm saying? But now if you know I got money first and then you just come at me. Remember, you said I'm not famous. I'm not famous. I just got money. If I can't find someone to love me when, I, when, I'm, when I'm looking like I'm okay, you know what I'm saying? If I got to show you the money for you to love me, then... It's a wrap right there, huh? Yeah, you're just going to get in the way anyway. All right. Is social media important to you? Social media is very important because it's how you reach the people, man. I mean, it ain't the social media itself that's important, but the interaction with the people is mad important, man, because, like, people give me feedback. Sometimes before I drop a song on SoundCloud or iTunes, I drop it on my social media like 10 times just to see what people is, if people is messing with it. If people are commenting and giving you real feedback for like all 10 times you drop it in a week, then yeah. When you see people coming back twice and dropping them fire symbols underneath and letting you know this is the third time they see it and they still telling you it's fire, that's real. Because some people, the first time you drop something, they'll just put fire, yeah, that's hot, that's hot. They didn't even really listen to it. They just, they just supporting you, but they're not really listening to it. But then you know when you keep all that, and then you start getting artists saying, "Yo, I need to, be, I need a feature on that." That's when you know it's real. You know what I'm saying? And I got some famous people that follow me too, so they ain't never gonna lie to me. They gonna if my joint trash, next time they see me in person, they gonna be like, "Yo, what the hell was that, bro? <laughs> what yeah. the hell was that crap?" Man, what advice would you give to a new artist? Honestly, I'm gonna give the advice that was given to me about five months ago. Dave East told me, "Yo, make your name bigger than your rap." And that's what it is. I mean, we're in a part where the music is important, but your name is more important. You know what I'm saying? If you if you want to be successful in this rap thing, it's not about you want to give people your story, but people are more apt to listen to your story if they know who you are. So you got to make your name bigger than your rap. You know what I'm saying? Right now, Drake, could drop an album straight about being heartbroken and everyone would go copy and say it was the hottest thing in the world and they'll actually listen to it and give it a chance. Wow, somebody that you don't know could drop the best album in the last 10 years. And it, will it really matter? No one's going to care, right? They don't know. Not well, I mean, well, so what do you mean by making your name? Be, like, how? Yo, you got you to gotta be honest, man. You got you to gotta be willing to invest in yourself, man. You got to be willing to pay... You know what I'm saying? Get the promotion. You got to be willing to to put your name out there. You got to be willing to pay for the flyers. Pay, you know what I'm saying? Make it, get get the get the water bottle with your name on it. All that. You got to get your name out there, man. If so you, you talking about kind of like, uh, like how Cardi, P, Cardi, Cardi B did? Exactly how Cardi B did. Look at her now. Look at Cardi B now. If Just two years it. ago, people were laughing at her. I was going back and like checking out her Instagram. It, it was about it was about the sixth single she dropped before she had a hit. Like she was dropping hella songs, so she was, she was staying. You gotta ready. be consistent. You gotta be consistent. You gotta be you gotta be you gotta be tough on yourself, and you gotta you gotta be strong willed, and you gotta have a hard back, man. You can't let these people break you. I remember Cardi about a year ago had a good song. Ran down. It was a, it was it was a remix. It was like a, a freestyle remix, whatever you want to call it. Ran down on a chick twice. Ran down. People love yeah. that. But people that didn't know her didn't pay no attention. But I remember we was in um, Virginia for Powerhouse. For Powerhouse in Virginia. And me and Cardi and M.A. all went and dropped a single release in like a strip club after. And like half the strip club knew the song. So the strippers, because remember she was a stripper. The strippers, they been messing with her. The strip clubs, they been messing with Cardi. It's not that the general public is starting to mess with Cardi. You know what I'm saying? And Cardi did. Even when Cardi had like her little stripper fame, she would go to clubs and say, look, I'll come and I'll be a bartender for you for free, but I need my song spun twice tonight. That was way back. You got, no one going to promote you like you promote yourself. So when I see people talking about they want to be a rapper and then they kind of just there, and I'm like, yo, who know your music? How they, you making music, you putting it on SoundCloud. And you're only getting like five five plays, bro. What what you doing with that? You gotta be able to promote yourself. You gotta make people listen, man. You gotta pay for them sponsorships. 
You got to go on Facebook and sponsor your, sponsor your post. You got to get it out there. You're spending $400 on weed every week, bro. <laughs> Cut back on some smoking and promote your music. Yeah, you spend three seventy five on the weed. <laughs> bro, we all do, bro. But sometimes I got to choose. I'll be like, damn, bro, I can't get a half today. I got to get a quarter. <laughs> and I got to promote my song. You feel me? I got to make them choices. It's tough choices, but you got to make them. If you love this, if you, this is what you want to do, you got to make them choices, bro. So what are some ways people can, like, uh, I guess get their plays up? Like you was talking about the SoundCloud and the U. Yo, man. Promotion. They, they got so many promotional tools for... Well, I guess like, how they know because a lot of people get burnt. So how you know if it's a legit one? No, 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 no. I don't, I, don't, I don't go through people. I go through, um, I go through the site themselves. Facebook has a site, a place where you can boost your post. Oh, okay. And it. It's real views. It's real. It, the people that are commenting, you didn't ask them to comment. So when people have comments, that's real comments. Them likes, you're not asking them like you. All you did was make it so they could see it. That's what I want to do. I don't ever want to. If you pay for comments, you pay for likes. You're doing it wrong because that's fake. That's fake. If you're just paying for people to see it, that's cool. Um, my um, my mask off video on Facebook. It got like six thousand views. It got like five hundred likes. Them five hundred likes are real. I got like maybe about a hundred people following my Facebook after that. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Them people like my music, so they follow my Facebook. That's real. Now, that ain't even cost a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's like $25. Like I said, cut back on the weed just a little bit. Just a little bit. I ain't asking people to stop smoking, bro. Yeah. But when I see people, <laughs> but when I see you, when I see you and I know, yo, man, you own like 10 hours a day, and you say your music ain't going nowhere, and you can't get people to hear it. I'm just looking at you like, what you mean? Now, I think I'm another thing that's that. important is... uh. They gotta make sure their graphics on point. Cause a lot of people like graphics to me. That's point. like it. Can, it could be the music and everything, but if I can't get past the graphics, I'm, that's gonna mess me up and not even. I'm not even gonna listen to the music. graphic, the graphic and the visuals. If your video looks suspect, bro, what am I looking at this for? I'm not looking at this. Your video looks suspect, bro. Go, go ahead, you good. Um, like you said, the visual, your artwork is crazy. I'm like, bro, that looks like you just had your little brother draw that. What's going on? Like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You're right. It's everything, man. If you was to go to a record label, what's the record label going to do? They're going to pay for promotion. They're going to promote your stuff. They're going to make sure the visuals is good. They're going to make sure the artwork is good. You're going to look like a rapper. If you don't look like a rapper, why would I believe you're a rapper? And I want you to share a life hack with us. So something you use in your life that uh, improves it a lot, people might not know about. Like something that happened in my life? No, it's like a trick. So some people say like, Oh, put vinegar in your pants and they want Oh, a life hack, a life hack. Yeah. Um, what's a life hack? Um, I don't know, man. Oh, I, I hit, I hit a stripper. I hit strippers with this life hack. This life hack. It ain't for me. <laughs> they be complaining that you know they got thick thighs and their thighs be rubbing together and it be chafing. So I told them, look, just put a little deodorant right between there and you'll be good. Every stripper I ever told that. Not only have I gotten her number. I've gotten at least one date with her because they, they love that fact so much, man. That is just real. That seems like that's, that's, that's a fat boy hack too. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it ain't for me. You know what I'm saying? It ain't for me. But whoever want to use it, go ahead and use it. <laughs> Stop you from chafing and all of that, man. You'll be good. You Like, they be so happy. They, next time they see me, they be giving me hugs and kisses. They be like, yo, that shit was killing me until you told me that. So you must, it, what, it, what do you do? You was talking about you work in the club, so what do you do? Nah, nah, like, I work in a club as a rapper, man. Like, I go out and oh, okay. perform and stuff. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I do my thing. I thought you yeah. were doing like you did. Um, uh, other than that, like, you know, people have, like, hired me to, like, do a little security for them here and there. Like, you know, I did security for MA once or twice. I did security for East a couple of times. Um, I did security for Jewels once in a while. Like, you know, my, my name ring bell. So when they see me, they be like, yo, you want to come hold me down? I hit you a little cash. I mean, that's the only thing I really else I've done in the club besides just rap. You know what I'm saying? All right. What would you like to say to your fans, all your supporters? Yo, all my supporters, all my fans, all them people that are about to become my supporters and become my fans, yo, just keep your head up. You got to, like, push for your dreams and goals at all times. And ain't nobody going to promote you like you promote you. Yeah, and I guess if, let's say somebody never heard about you before, let them know why they should follow you on your music journey. Man, follow me, man. I'm telling you one thing that I'm going to tell everybody. I'm not quitting. I'm going to make it. I'm not quitting. You're going to enjoy the music if you really give it a chance. If you truly give my music a chance, you're going to enjoy it. I mean, 
It's real life. It's real life, man. It is what it is. It ain't no movie. It's real life. You know what I'm saying? So everyone's going to enjoy it. And I got something for everybody, whether you want a club song, whether you want a deep song, whether you want... I got freestyles about police brutality. Whatever you thinking in your head, I got. <laughs> so come on, listen. You're going to find something. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. I want to say thank you for coming through politicking with me. Thank you for letting me politic. You want to tell me your social media and everything? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Savage Villain, uh, S A V A G E V I L L A I N, and you can find me everywhere else at Vaughn Villain. That's uh, YouTube, iTunes, Facebook, everywhere. You can find me as Vaughn Villain. Popolitikin.com. Thanks for listening to Popolitikin.com, a self-help meets hip-hop brand. If you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on popolitikin.com, contact us at popolitikin at gmail.com. That's P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N at gmail.com. Or text 760-717-5803. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play.